okay, I don't want you to sign off. What's your favorite thing about working in London? Good salary, 28 days off, private pension, good project, good okay life balance. I got a job in London as shop assistant and two weeks later I had to quit because I got an offer at Burberry in wholesale. And if you're wondering how I did this, watch this video until the end. And yes, you're right, I'm not even a native speaker, so as you can imagine, this was 10 times harder for me to do. And guys, I would really appreciate it if you like this video, it takes you no time, but it helps me so much to spread it around more people and of course consider subscribing if you want to see more videos from London or travel related content whenever we get to travel again. Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Vasi. Well, actually today we're trying to go more with the curious part and a little bit less with the awkward part because I'm going to tell you how to get a job in London in five simple steps. And I'm also going to give you ideas on jobs that are easy to get in London, especially if you're new to the city or you have no experience. Because recently so many of you have seen my very first video that I made and it honestly makes me cringe just thinking about it so I want to give you a better more informative version. Step number one is to prepare your CV in a British style format which is slightly different from the European or the American one and for instance you don't necessarily need to put a photo in there mostly above all it's extremely important to have it very well organized polished and easy to understand. Usually a recruiter would spend between 5 or 10 seconds looking at your CV to understand if your skills and past experience match with the job. And this is also the main reason why you would need to use keywords in your CV uh, that highlight your background rather than having empty words such as uh, team leader or hardworking. Another important thing is to add your address in there. It doesn't necessarily need to be your full address but it's good to give them an understanding that you're already in the city so it's easier also for them to contact you or hire you. The importance of references. On the bottom of your CV you should always put a reference. Someone from your past job or or if you don't have any experience then you can put some of your university or high school teachers that will be able to take an email and actually prove that the information you have provided is correct. If you're not a native speaker or you're just unsure on what's the best way to create your CV you can also hire someone to do this for you. Websites such as Indeed, Top CV or Global Assignment offer these services. Personally, I haven't done that, but I kind of wish in the beginning that someone had helped me. And guys, because I really want you to be successful and find your dream job, I will have a link in the description down below CV templates. So you just have to click on the link, download them, and after that, you can directly edit them and make your perfect CV. Step number two is to prepare your cover letter. And the cover letter is kind of like the sibling of the CV but requires a little bit more time. But from the other side, this is the perfect time for you to shine and tell your future employer why you're perfect for this job. So if you're thinking to copy and paste the same cover letter for every single job that you're applying for, please don't do this. Customize it and make it personal. You should really understand what type of person is this company looking for and tell them why you're perfect for this job. And step number three is to grab your computer, make yourself a LinkedIn profile. And yes, you're right, you can do this also from the comfort of your bed. Highlight your past experience, your past achievements, and pretty much the information that you have already put on your CV. You can connect to uh, people that are already working in your industry, recruiters, agencies, follow the companies where you would like to work so you stay up to date with the jobs that they post. Once you have your LinkedIn profile ready, you're ready for step four, which is to start applying. You can apply for jobs directly on LinkedIn and something that I find extremely useful, daily job alerts for the jobs you're interested in. 
and it's extremely extremely important that you're one of the first people that apply for a job because this kind of guarantees you that at least they will review your application and the truth is there are so many people applying for jobs in London sometimes many of the applications don't even get reviewed or don't get opened as well just because recruiters are so overwhelmed with applicants you can also use other websites such as Indeed, Monster, Glassdoor I will also have them linked in the description down below and you can have a daily newsletter with all the jobs that are suitable for you if you already know in which company you would like to work at then you can go directly into their website and apply for the job and this is mostly true for bigger companies that don't always post their job offers into external platforms and this is actually how I got my job at Burberry is that I went to their career page and from there I saw all the available jobs that they have and I applied directly something else very useful that i have found is that their specific websites depending uh, on the sector and industry where you're applying for i actually look at more websites such as fashion jobs or business of, of fashion and i can find a lot more relevant jobs for me in there rather than in bigger websites such as glassdoor find a agency that it's specialized in your industry and write them an email and just send them your CV and say exactly the positions that you're interested in. And step number five is to prepare for the interview. And I say prepare because I'm just sure you will land one. The most important thing is to show them that you have done your homework. So research on the company where you have applied that, research also very well on the job and the and you should know very well the job description so you know what type of person are they looking for be confident smile and show them why you're the best this is the time when you should literally convince them to hire you because you will do a great job but of course be ready to be asked the most frequent questions such as uh, tell me about yourself or what are your uh, best qualities or what makes you perfect for this job. What I found very useful in the beginning, especially because I'm not a native speaker, so I needed to prepare my answers in advance, have them written down, repeat them a couple of times out loud. Yes, it might seem a little bit ridiculous, but it really pays off. I have also done it a couple of times in front of the mirror, get used to speaking about yourself and highlighting your best qualities. Here are some ideas for you for jobs that are easy to get in London and especially in 2021. You can work in customer service, especially if you don't mind taking calls or speaking to people or uh, dealing with complaints. And there are some of them which actually pay pretty well and you can get up to 26 or 27,000 pounds per year, which is pretty great starting salary if you ask me. And as you can imagine, due to lockdown and everything that has happened in 2020, supermarkets are expanding and also food delivery services. So I would suggest you looking at jobs at a supermarket or food delivery services such as HelloFresh, Pasta Evangelists or Mindful Chef. They have been really blowing up recently. Another very well paid job is the job of a nanny. And especially if you have studied psychology, if you're just bilingual, you don't know how much are parents in London willing to pay for someone to take care of their kid and speak to him in Spanish, in French or any other language. Some of these jobs actually pay up to 15 pounds an hour. There is a big need of careers and someone doing deliveries. And yes, this might not be the perfect job, but it still gives you some money for you to be able to pay your rent and maybe in the meantime you can look for your perfect job. Bonus tip, guys, did you know that TikTok has actually headquarters in London and as you can imagine the app has been blowing up a lot so they're actually hiring a lot of people at the moment and they are also looking for people with no qualifications, entry-level jobs or also some specific languages like did you know that they're even looking for people that speak Bulgarian?
And guys, I really hope that this video was useful, helped some of you, gave you some ideas, or you, if you were just curious, it satisfied your curiosity. And hope to see you again on my channel. Bye! Love you all!